Today, we're going to create a crypto trading bot that uses an inter-exchange arbitrage strategy to attempt a profit off of price differences of the same asset between two exchanges. These price differences are commonly referred to as arbitrage spreads. This type of arbitrage does not rely on transferring or withdrawing coins between exchanges since that takes too long and is too expensive to be profitable most of the time. Instead, it relies on you holding balances on both exchanges simultaneously, so accompanying buy and sell orders can be submitted in parallel, allowing you to act upon arbitrage opportunities immediately. Boygo Bots allows you to create and run trading bots on all major crypto exchanges with a number of pre-built strategies for day trading, such as arbitrage, grid trading, swing trading, and more. All strategies in Koigo Bots also have their source code fully available to view or modify, so you can know exactly what your trading bot is doing. Koigo Bots also runs entirely on your machine and not our servers. That means your exchange account credentials, aka your API keys, are only stored and encrypted on your machine. Koigo servers never have access to your accounts. To get started, we'll go to the My Strategies page to see which strategies are available. We're currently looking at the Koigo Bots home screen where we can see a list of the bots that we've created, a list of the strategies that we have available, each bot uses a strategy to define its behavior, or we could even code our own custom trading bot strategy with JavaScript using Quigo Forge. So we'll go to My Strategies, and here we can see a list of all the strategies that are currently available within Quigo Bots. We have a spot grid trading strategy, smart rebalancing, triangular arbitrage on one exchange, inter-exchange arbitrage, static midpoint swing trading, a simple market making strategy, and more. So we're going to use the inter-exchange arbitrage to exchanges five pairs, no transfers today. So if we click on that, we can see on the left side a full description explaining exactly how this strategy works. And on the right side, you can see the full source code for this strategy. So this is everything that is driving the behavior of the trading bots that use this strategy. So you are free to view this code, copy it, or even modify it and create your own custom strategy using this as the base. That's up to you. So we're going to go to back to my strategies and looking at this, here's inter exchange, we're going to hit create bot. All right, so now we can see first we're going to give our trading bot a name. And then we select an execution interval. Now this is how often your trading bot is going to reanalyze real-time market data and decide to submit or manage orders or whatever else it wants to do. So arbitrage opportunities might only exist for a second or even less because there are a lot of other people and trading bots looking for them. So you really want this to be as fast as possible so you can detect and react to arbitrage spreads as quickly as possible. So we're going to set this to 500 milliseconds which is twice a second. It'll analyze market data. Now we can select the two exchanges that we want to be looking at price differences for. So first, let's say Kraken, and the second, we'll say Coinbase Pro. Now we select a direction. So we can always buy on the first exchange and sell on the second. We can always buy on the second, sell on the first, or we can buy and sell on either exchange if a spread is found. So we'll do that. Now the order type that you want to submit, we will say, we'll say market orders today. Uh, the minimum spread percent to trade and the minimum spread percent to alert. So these let you decide how, what percentage of potential profitability uh, do you want the bot to wait for before it submits orders or alerts you. So for trading, it has to be greater than your some of your trading fees. Because say you find a profit of 0.1%, but your trading fees in both exchanges are 0 0.2 and 0 0.2, that means at the end of the day, you still lost because you made a 0.1% profit, but you paid 0.4% in trading fees. So for this, for this, we'll say a 1% profit to trade. We can also select a lower one to alert. Maybe we just want to be notified ahead of time to be searching for spreads or different opportunities. So this one we'll say 0 0.5. Now we're going to select the five different trade pairs that the bot is going to monitor between the two exchanges. Let's just keep it simple. BTC, USD, and then we can select the maximum order amount. So we won't ever buy or sell more than 0.1 Bitcoin between the two exchanges. And 
LTC. You can see right here when you're deciding the max order amount, it says that one Litecoin equals about fifty-one dollars right now. The this is the current rate, um, so you can kind of eyeball that to see. All right, ten is going to be about five hundred dollar order amount. Let's go EOS. And finally, the fifth one. All right, so. We've selected five different trading pairs for this bot to monitor for arbitrage spreads between the two different exchanges. So for any trade pairs that we have balances available, it will go ahead and submit orders. If you don't have balances available, it's still going to monitor them so it can alert you. So maybe you know you can be watching and decide that you want to move your money around because you're finding spreads in a different trade pair than your money is currently in. Now we have an order submission cool off period. You can use this so that once the bot submits orders, it will wait for a certain number of intervals before submitting orders again. This can be good to avoid rate limiting or to just avoid reacting rapidly when the market is moving very quickly. And the maximum number of orders, open orders, will say six. The maximum number of orders per second will go ahead and say six. Now here we can configure all of our trading fees for the exchanges. These should be correct, but you can always double check. So for each exchange market, it, you will enter the make your fee and the taker fee here. Now we're going to go ahead and create our bot. All right, so we've just created a trading bot that's going to monitor five different markets between Kraken and Coinbase Pro for arbitrage spreads and either submit orders if possible or alert us if not possible. Now we're going to go ahead and run it. So here we can see that we can run this bot. We can see any previous runs. This has not been run yet. So we'll say run this bot. Now you can see the max run time you can go with four hours and right here you can see test mode so I don't want to trade with real money so I'm going to use test mode right now which is going to submit fake orders and not use any real funds so you can use this to test out different configurations of your bot so we'll say when it is in test mode you can just give it a fake wallet balance to play with we'll give it one Bitcoin and 10,000 USD on Kraken and one Bitcoin and 10,000 USD on Coinbase Pro all right now I'm going to go and run it Accept the disclaimer. Now, while the bot is running, we'll see the activity log on the left, which has information about what the bot is doing during, during any intervals execution. You can see the balances, both the current and starting balances, and how they've changed over time. We can see market feeds, so any order books that this bot is subscribed to, and any orders that this trading bot has submitted. If you want to see the configuration, while the bot's running, we can go up here. We can see the full config, or we can see an explanation of exactly how the strategy works alongside its source code as well. All right, now the bot's running. You can see it's calculating real-time spreads over here on the left side. You can see it's already done it 17 times. It's checking twice per second. And we can see detailed information about the spreads that it's calculating for each interval. We're going to go ahead and stop this bot by clicking the Stop This Bot button. All right, now if we want to look at the spreads that the spot's been calculating, let's take a look. So on the Bitcoin USD market, when buying on Kraken and selling on Coinbase Pro, you can see the ask and the bid. You see the max order amount is 0 0.07 Bitcoin. And the reason for that is because it's the max possible without slippage, given the ask and bid between Kraken and Coinbase Pro. And the spread is 0.4%. Now in the other direction, if we were to buy on Coinbase and sell on Kraken, it would be negative 0.13. So we can see down here on Ethereum, it says the max order amount was zero because the balances. We had we didn't input any Ethereum for uh, fake wallets during test mode. So it says zero is the maximum order possible without balances. And then on the bottom here, you can see after it checked everything during this interval, it says it's found zero desirable arbitrage spreads that you have enough balances to trade on. If it does find any spreads, it'll go ahead and submit orders for you and give a detailed information why. All right, let's go back to the spot's runs. We can see the history of every time the spot's been run. For each run, we can see the config, as well as the starting and ending balances, any orders that the spot submitted, which it did not for this run, 
and why it was stopped. It was stopped because we clicked the Stop This Bot button. You can also view the latest run's activity logs if you want to see more in-depth about exactly what the bot was doing. This can help for determining which config you want to use or just getting insight into how it's operating. And then we can run the bot again if we would like to. We can also turn off Testmill and run it with real money. All right, so we just created an inter-exchange arbitrage trading bot that trades between Kraken and Coinbase Pro that checks twice a second continuously. Koigo Bots is free to try. We welcome you to sign up and start your free trial today. Good luck.